Welcome to Mammoth in Focus, the show which delivers information on county government and its functions. Um, I'm very fortunate, Nate, today to have uh, somebody that's very important and delivers a lot of, lot of services here in Monmouth County, and that's Sheriff Sean Golden. It's a pleasure, Sean, having you on. Pre-older, thanks so much for having us. So, you know, first, before I start, I want to thank you and your full staff and all the officers here in Monmouth County, um, in the Sheriff's Office and our local police departments for, for the great work that they're doing now. And, uh, you know, we hear some of this rhetoric going on, which is totally amazing. And I know your total support. And we're fortunate to have a sheriff that is actually a law enforcement sheriff. So um, not every county can say that. Yeah, uh, for, fortunately, uh, we have a great uh, board of uh, chosen freeholders and all our mayors locally in our 53 towns, so supportive of our law enforcement and first responders here in the county. Thank you. So, you know, the, the I guess I'm not going to say the unique thing, but the really special thing that a lot of our residents are able to get to know the information is your social media. Um, getting the word out electronically through you know social media is very important, and you guys do it unbelievable. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, we appreciate that. You know, we have we have one of the best in the business. Our our public information officer Cynthia Scott, who uh, really has done a tremendous job in uh, crafting our social media. Uh, not just in Monmouth County, but uh, throughout the state of New Jersey. And so a lot of news organizations uh, look at our up-to-date information, particularly when it comes to storms. And, you know, you can, you can reach us on social media, on uh, Facebook and Instagram and uh, Twitter. Uh, you know, the normal channels, we, we say, in social media. But we, we continuously give updates, particularly when we're in crisis mode and emergency management mode. You know, as soon as you de uh, declare a declaration of emergency, as the Board of Chosen Freeholders, we're out there and uh, providing real, real time updates about what's going on in our county. You know, and, and it's amazing. And but I'll tell you, you know, what's really special and I, and I'm and I'm sure that other people probably do it. I don't think they can do it as well as as our sheriff's office does led by yourself is preparing our team uh, teams through that preparation uh type of involvement there How, what what do you actually do there every moment it seems like you're doing something with the team well the you know it's all it's all about preparedness here and we we preach that uh throughout the county year round not just during hurricane season but uh year round and, and again here we have so much talent uh in our emergency management team led by our emergency management coordinator mike Opegard. Uh, he is truly one of the best trained, probably in the United States. He's, he certainly has taken us through Superstorm Sandy. Uh, but he stresses the importance uh, about growing uh, the preparedness and growing our youth so that uh, they grow in to serve our community. And Teen Serve, uh, Citizens Emergency Response uh, Training, that's one of the uh, best organizations that we have in terms of education and outreach to our residents. Our, our youth. We have high school kids from all over the county uh, that come into our facility, our emergency management facility, and they train. They train on preparedness. They train on simple first aid uh, management uh, during a crisis. Again, that communication, having a plan, sharing their plan with their family and friends and promoting uh, that readiness and, and preparing kits, uh, readiness kits, so that we, um, you know, grow that youth into um, the, our future. And so we know that our county is uh, best prepared, you know, not just our, our youth when it comes to teen cert uh, freeholder, but as you know, Mike uh, produced a uh, first ever program when it came to seniors and it's called uh, storm seniors taking on readiness measures. And that that's a program that we instituted after Sandy uh, because, because this was part of our vulnerability after Sandy uh, that we recognized that our seniors were not prepared with kits. They weren't prepared to go to shelters without their medication and doctor's information and, and medical information. And so uh, he was able to do that for us and put together this great program for our seniors called STORM, Senior Taking On Readiness Measures. And we go to all the senior centers and senior communities throughout Monmouth County, promote uh, preparedness and readiness and uh, issue out those uh, storm kits, those emergency kits, so that they have them ready. You know, it's it's amazing because everywhere I go and I see parents that had children that went through this certification, and then getting to your second point of the seniors, I hear it all the time, thanking uh, thanking us on on behalf of you 
and, and what your department does. So I, I thank you for that as being a freeholder. I'm sure my other freeholders all agree with me on that and stand with me on that. But, you know, the one thing that we're in that type of season all the way up till November 30th is hurricane season. And um, I've watched you firsthand, being with you numerous times and watched the way you've handled the, the crisis. And it is a crisis when we're seeing trees uprooted, people's electricity out. Um, and the way you handled and prepared with your staff. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. I mean, you know, like I said, preparedness is a year-round effort for us. Uh, just uh, hurricane season, June 1st through November 30th, is just a, a highlighted feature for us. It, it, it brings uh, together awareness and makes sure that everyone has uh, family planning. And uh, listen, we can't do it without uh, a great team out there. And Mike has, uh, again, paved the way when we talk about preparedness and we talk about um, flooding areas and storms. Uh, we came up with a know your zone, first in the state of New Jersey, modeled after some counties in Florida, but first to bring it to the state of New Jersey. And know your zone is a uh, simple, simple task really. You know, we had so many questions about, hey, do I, am I gonna be flooded? Do I need to evacuate? And now we have simple uh, way to, to uh, educate our public and say, listen, you're in zone A, B, C, or D. There's four distinct zones. If you go to our website, mcsonj.org uh, dot slash ready, you can just type in your address and it will tell you what zone you're in so that you are better prepared to evacuate from that zone if the local emergency management team asks you to evacuate. And you can go to that website or, you know, we did the mobile application. And, and our mobile app, again, when you talk about communication with the public, uh, or social media is on the mobile application. You just download the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office mobile application. And on there, you hit emergency management. Plans, family planning is on here for preparation and, and those ready kits that we talked to. The Know Your Zone is on here, so you can type in your address. Um, and real-time alerts, push alerts. So if there is a storm coming, you're ready to go. And uh, that proved very useful uh, when we had our two tropical storm depressions come up our coast this year. That is great. I mean, you're doing such great things there and, and your leadership is stellar, I have to say. And, and, you know, and I know you're very vocal on your support for law enforcement. And I, I can assure you and your staff and your officers that this freeholder board stands side by side with you um, through your sheriff's office and all of the county. And I can't thank you enough personally as the sheriff and as the free older director, then just as a citizen of Monmouth County to know that um, your department led by yourself is doing a fine job. So I want to thank you for everything you do and uh, looking forward to seeing you out there. No, uh, thanks for you older. We have a tremendous amount of first responders in the county, always uh, at the ready, well-trained and well ready to serve our public and our residents here in Monmouth County. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you for joining Monmouth in Focus.